Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over Stagehand. Stagehand basically is a template generator for us. Do you remember in the previous video when I talked about setting up Atom that we went here, we went to Dart applications, and we created and we created all these files, and then we created everything from the very beginning? A little bit of a pain in the butt, right? So Stagehand helps us out. I just recently learned this, so I wanted to share it with you. In order to get it working, we'll go in the terminal, pub, global, it's just a, a keyword command to actually activate in order to run this particular application. It gives us an error. It installs executables to this location. It's not in your path, so we have to change the environmental variables, right? We've done that before. It is with the bash RC, right? Dot bash RC. You have to show hidden um, files. I hope you remember that from the installing the Atom um, editor. What I just do is I just get this, copy it, paste it, and we're done. We'll hide these files again because it's a little annoying. Let's reboot. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this other than rebooting. I still haven't figured it out, all right? So I, admittedly, I haven't even looked into it. Again, if you know, please leave a comment in the comment section. So far, no takers, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and get back here. Now there's several ways to do it again. We at least need a folder name. So I'm gonna hit Dart Applications and I could create a new folder right here and call it something. We'll call it Starter again. Or I can go in the terminal and I could say CD um, Dart Applications MKDIR. MKDIR make directory and I'm gonna call it Starter and I'll change directory into starter. I hope you can see this okay. I think it's probably going to be small in the video itself. So I'll keep talking it through. Now um, the command will be stage hand and we can make several different types of templates themselves. Now we can make a um, console which we did in the learn to program with Dart. Um, either console full and I'll list this down below in terms of our options themselves and I'll show a link into where this is all documented. But for us, we want web-simple. And if you can look up here, when I do this, it creates all these right here. It already creates the pubspec.yaml. Web page right here. It already creates index.html. And on the Atom editor, it is all already written out, which is very nice. Main.dart is already there. Styles.css, that's already there as well. So of course, um, as in the previous video, we have to set up the pub serve and we just go from there. So it's all set up just for the record. When we take a look at these things, what is the meta tag? Well, the meta tag basically is it's something that's part of the page, but it's not rendered. Again, it's part of the head. But it's something that you want information on the web application that might not, that might be important, and it might be discoverable. So if you used a comment section, um, that information is not discoverable. What does discoverable mean? Well, basically, like for example, if you have a web application and you want um, it to be searched uh, through like a search engine like Google or something like that. You might have keywords, key phrases inside of here um, uh, uh, or some other information about the web application. By the way, meta stands for metadata. Basically, that means data about data. I don't think I actually went over that. Maybe I did. I'm sorry if I'm being redundant. So basically, data is, for example, um, a picture. So I get a picture. That's the data. When the picture was taken, that was metadata. So it's data, the date, about the picture. The picture is the data. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm doing. The, the metadata is the what 
data about it. What was the, where was the picture done? Um, when was it done? By whom was it done? And who is in the picture? That's all metadata, okay? And this is already set up for us. So let's use stagehand in the future. Uh, many times, personally, uh, because I'm still a beginner, I delete many of these things. You don't have to, but whatever. Um, if you want to create more of your own web applications to experiment with, which we always should be doing, using stagehand is a great tool for us and a time saver. Thank you.